Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is reconnaissance ship ZP24. I am the only survivor. We have crash landed over the planet XM2795. It's a desert planet inhabited by hostile creatures that ravage the night and hunt for anything that lives. If anyone can hear this, please send help. End emergency broadcast, put on loop, broadcasting across all frequencies across the whole known universe. So yeah, welcome to Crash Landing. That was my little different intro to Crash Landing, something that I wanted to try and see whether you liked it. Because if you did, well that's good. And could you put it down in the comment section? If you didn't, where did they go wrong? I wanted to see whether it was any good. So yeah. So this is going to be my replacement series for Aguarian Skies because I slightly got bored of it. So yeah. Now when you're starting this, you're going to have to type slash HQM quest. I've also changed the game rule to mob griefing fault because I don't like the idea of it in this map. Especially because there's a creeper when it dies, it blows up. And with the being pyrophium, I'm sure they're supposed to be changing it that those mob that, that mob doesn't do griefing. And it damages stuff, so yeah. Um I'll take some needle ammo. And we'll load our needle gun. Our needle gun there. Quest boot there. So let's get started in these quests. So Hello and welcome. I am IMPA or if you want to listen to that, so you can, you'll have to download the mod because that's going to take a time away from the day which I need. Because this is one, going to be one of the hard, one, well it's harder than Agrarian Skies, which is saying something. Because that was called Hardcore Quest, it was Hardcore Questing as well. So, one of the first things we get is the Camel Pack, which is an item that stores water for you and constantly hydrates you. Because if you look on the left, there's hydration so we're gonna put well down there this hydration so we've got some see is this all cold water no those two are water bottles and I keep the cold water separate from the regular bottles because they're useful and yeah so the first quest was to get a fluid transposer I'm gonna put that other fluid transposer in here and take out that that and that so next of all is the very basics we need dirt and dust so we'll put this down here and we'll start sifting some dust and also we'll put that there because once it becomes night that'll help to stop mobs coming in all I have to do is place two blocks so what I'm looking for is some bone meal from this which I should get right so I got the bone meal um, where's my book there it is we could manage to submit a water bottle bone meal and dust now we can claim our reward, which gives us some stuff. Now, next of all, oh, drinking mud. Now, this is a nice, easy quest. You put a piece of dirt and a glass bottle next to each other, you get dirty water. You hand in this quest, you get back yourselves a water bottle and a piece of dirt. And the next quest is to hand in purified water, which gets you cold water and four glass bottles, which is a nice, easy sort of quest. Now, You've got the easy route and the hard route. The hard route gives you less stuff. Sounds fun. Oh, might want to claim reward. So yeah, the hard route is supposed to be hard. This map pack is supposed to be hard on easy route. So yeah. Oh, it doesn't give you any oak. Ah, that's why it's supposed to be a lot harder. But I like spruce. I do like building in spruce trees. Uh, so we want to chop out this bottom log because we need to make ourselves a finger majiggy, a crook, a crook, whatever you, whatever it's called. I can't remember how you pronounce it or say it, should I say? Uh, we'll create two of them. Crook or crook? How is that actually said? I never actually. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, so what well, crook does is increase your chance of saplings. And we'll also increase your chance to get silkworms. I do think these, I think all trees drop silkworms. Well, it actually gives you a chance to get silkworms. 
which is a mildly useful food. So yeah, so I'm going to chop down a few trees because our next quest is to fluid transpose some water from wood. Which sounds very fun, chopping down all these trees with our fists. And I think, I'm sure you would love to watch it, but personally, I think I'm just going to skip you lot watching it. Right, so whilst I've got those advantages point on top of this spruce tree which I've climbed up and the sun is about to set, let's have a look what we've got. So we've got some water over there with some clay. I'm pretty sure that's salt water. And over there, I'm guessing that was my engine, which has, well, exploded and is now some liquid pyro here, which I'm sure you can actually use to make cobblestone with some water. So once we can get a bucket, we can start producing cobblestone. But I think that's something we're going to have to leave for tomorrow because the sun's about to set and we have some of the more some of the mods that add more hostile mobs they're a bit more vicious more healthy more damaging and faster and smarter and all that nasty stuff that they're killing. yeah as you can see the sun's about to go down so i'm going to finish off this tree i've got plenty of seconds this is my third tree i've chopped down one good thing about spruce is there's lots of leaves so there's lots of saplings oh Damn. Oh right. wait, so night is now set in. So let's have a look, let's go over what we've got. So we've got a birch sapling, which honestly I don't care about. We have some beef jerky, that'll help us survive. And we got ourselves a silk worm. So we're gonna eat this beef jerky. Right, so that's something to keep us going through the night. And I think we're gonna start our fluid transposing. Did I pick up one of those? <laughs> the leadstone pasta. And what do we have in this? That had food, wasn't it right? That was the... Whoa, that's how it is. slightly higher. So we put this in here. Do you like that? Just so you can actually hear me, we'll turn down mob sounds. And we'll put in our legs of the pasta. So if we take out... Um, 20 of these, actually no, we only want 10 for now, and we set this up so that uh, output is to left, actually not quite yet, um, we need, where is it, where's my quest, but we don't want it outputting yet, we want to manually select this quest, because it's sapling, saplings, select quest, in here, activate the quest and tell it that you can output to the left. And we'll get us a nice bit of fresh water to, well, use. So, what's next? Well, we've got tools of the trade, desperate times. Desperate times requires rotten flesh. Ow! You can hurt me through the walls, now that's just cheating. But yeah, that's why I want more grieving off because one of the creepers randomly explodes when it dies. So not randomly, confirmed death when it dies. Confirmed explosion when it dies. And well, I don't like the idea of my base being destroyed by the death of a creeper in that liquid pyro theme over there. So we have that quest complete. We'll select this to do nothing and we'll put 10 more saplings in there so we can have some water to drink and it looks like we've got sapling saplings claimed in water that gives us two water bottles very nice so yeah what can we do next probably i'm gonna have to wait till morning so i'm just gonna get sifting whatever dust i have until morning well looky here look at this collection of mobs I'm just sat in the front cockpit of the ship whilst it's night. You can look at all them flat in there. Skeletons, creepers, zombies, you name it, it's in there. And I think that's what I'm going to go kill in the morning with a needle gun. So yeah, a needle gun. I should probably get out of guns off needle ammo. Which is six arrows, two gunpowder, and a needle gun magazine cartridge to create needle ammo. So you get these cartridges once you're out of ammo, or you can make them with a bit of plastic and iron. Yeah, that's nice and simple. 
I ran out of dust to sip, but I got four pulverized iron, which means in the morning we can go create some new stuff. And what I think we'll actually do now is create some Tinker's Construct stuff. So we're going to need some wood, so I'll create five of it. Uh, we'll ourselves some sticks, I think that should be enough. We'll put you like that. One, two, three. Those creeper things are going to get very annoying quick, and we'll actually get four of these. We'll create ourselves a chest, and that's a quite a considerable chunk of our wood gone. So first of all, we're going to want a packing chest. Next, we get one of those quest things. We want one of you. We want. Uh, we want to put two in there actually. We'll get that. We'll get a stencil table. And we'll get ourselves a. Nope, wrong place. Tool station. So. Um, stencil table. Packing chest. Tool station can go. Nope, wrong place. I want it to go one to the left. I have that. Thank you. And we're going to need probably enough of one of them. Actually, probably two or something like that. Uh, we'll create two just to be safe. So, yeah, I'm going to wait out the night. It's probably nearly day now. And then we'll be back. I was correct, it was nearly day. We've got wait for most of these to die off. And then we're gonna have to make a dash because there's most likely gonna be spiders on the roof which is gonna try and kill me. Three, two, one, dash. Okay. Right, so I've worked back to where I was and I'm a bit more resources this time actually. I, I got a lot more dust and out front you can see a uh, spruce wood tree infested with... Ooh, I missed. That was horrible shooting. Hello there, creeper. Just want to destroy that. Oh no, not baby creeper. You, you are scary. You are scary. Because you're fast and you explode. Two of the worst things possible. Ha! Burn! Ow, you hit me! Die! Thank you. I think there's a spider on the roof. Well, I can hear a spider on the roof. Can I draw him out to the front? Hello there, spiders. Oh, hello there, Armoured Creeper. No kidding, you're Armoured. Three, two, one, run. Thank you, grab them. Latest death? Okay, that's a bit weird. What the heck are you? I don't get you. Oh, you're doing exploding creepers. Right. Hello spider. Thank you. Just want all your string, your arrows, bones, flint. I didn't know they dropped flint, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to run around, gather all the resources I can, and then we'll be back. And also, there's a tough spider over there, which is the worst thing possible. Well, not the worst thing, but... The horrible. I think the only thing that could possibly be worse than them would be a spider creeper. Or a creeper jockey. Ooh, that'd be horrible. Yes, they are definitely tough. Right, so we've got what we did. Well, I've killed all the mobs now. So what we want to do is actually salt some rotten flesh. Like so. And we get some zombie jerky. If we look in our quest book... 
under basic survival we have a quest now to hand in desperate times which is to get salt get rotten flesh make zombie jerky so we'll claim our reward that gives us some lovely food not um, so it still does half a actually no it only does half a hunger but you don't get the hunger effect which is very nice uh, so next of all I think we're gonna crook down this tree because it's got those silkworms on it now and silkworms can be a great source of food and also it gives us string which we can use for other stuff and that also means that we can do fishing let's not be getting dark already no it's midday okay so I'll finish off this tree right so let's create some patterns in this stencil table to get our cell actually no 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 let's actually do the quest that we've been given to do and then I'll create some tools so in here we have some stone and we've got two quests, one's to make a stone hammer if I can find the crafting table so we'll turn all this stone into cobble or actually we'll make ourselves a furnace a slab furnace because slab furnaces can actually smelt stuff very well um, so we'll put two sticks in and we'll put in one silkworm because that's one quest we have to cook a silkworm next of all we need a bone crook or crook how do, however you pronounce it and that offers extra damage over a wooden that offers damage compared to a wooden one and has more durability so we've got that uh, what's our next quest we've got that manually detect that and we've also got the tools of the trade which is the stone hammer well uh, if we cook this well we have that now cooked we can now hand in that quest claim our reward and I think we'll actually make some tools so we'll make ourselves a don't need a tool rod we need ourselves a axe head we'll put it in the part builder with a piece of flint we'll create ourselves a flint axe and then with that if I can get it out of here and put it in the pattern chest we'll put our flint axe and a stick Right, how to make it let me click thank you and reach ourselves a simple hatchet and that means we can now chop down trees that little bit faster so yeah I'm gonna chop down this tree and start work on another one come on as soon as possible because we're gonna need some more stuff so what we want to create is a barrel so we can actually start making dirt now if we put this barrel here and we put in some rotten flesh like so we'll start composting it down into dirt now what we also want to do is put out of the uh, can I not like separate this stack oh there was a cook silk worm there I didn't realize those cook silk worms are so hard to see uh, we'll put that in there and we'll create some of that um, and we'll take those sticks actually and we'll also go cook up for more silkworms because I have some outside that are currently working for me nom, 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 nom. that's half a thing nugget but that's something better than nothing and the hatchet is on its way to living up so I'm going to wait out this night again and in the morning we should have a piece of dirt to oh well, we have a piece of dirt let's let's go compost another piece of rotten flesh well another ten pieces of rotten flesh right so we have well been working through the night and well I've been working through the night and I just need a bit more well actually no I don't realise would like one more piece of stone so I can get started on the next quest but something looks like it's not going to give me it. So I'm just going to go outside. Now I made myself a pickaxe and I got rid of all that dark glass. And we're going to put it out front. So we can see out. Makes a bit more sense than having that other stuff. So we're going to break this open. Ow! That's not helpful. 
I'm going to hope that all the mobs come to me. I don't have very much ammo, actually. Mm, this might be a bad idea. Oh. Um. Right, okay. I'm going to do this off camera, actually, because I feel safer off camera. Die, creeper. Right, so we now have enough iron ore dust to smelt up, well, more than a bucket's worth, but that gives enough for a perfect smelt of charcoal, which means we can create ourselves a bucket. And also, I have enough stone to create us a stone hammer. And now that we have a stone hammer, let's tidy this inventory a bit because it's just cluttered with resources. So I've got my stone, I've uh, got a flint pickaxe as well, and I went and mined up all that stuff. I've moved moved all the dark glass now. Um, right, so we've got that. We can now create, well, let's have a look what in the boot, because we should have a quest done. Or maybe there's another part to it. Um, tools of the trade, no, weapons. Make a bone knife and a bone crossbow, a crossbar. Oh, right, we'll need another stencil. Um, uh, one more stencil should do us. So we put this in here, we need a crossbar and a knife blade, which is the shortest blade there is. And manual detect. I have them both manual oh wait no I've got to make them haven't I not it's not the patterns that I need it's the bones um let's get two bone meal this should be enough where if I put the bone meal I'll keep the bone meal on me because I can use that uh let's see wrong one we'll just nick you out of there and then manual detect armor we gotta make wooden armor right so we need that, we need that, and we need that, and we also need the pants. Ooh, just enough armor, uh, I mean wood. So we can claim our wood, we can have a red heart canister, obsidian arrowhead, or bronze pickaxe head. Taking the red heart canister, because extra hearts will be very useful. But that also means that we can now put on some armor. No chest piece, just head. Um, actually, I need some more water. Do we have? Oh, they're all cold water. Um, let's see. I'm sure you can, you can heat them up into regular water and then use them in the thing. Let's just have a look. Uh, you in there? Oh yes, you can. Uh, did I really want to use those logs? Uh, planks? Maybe. I don't know. I really want to use that stick. Possibly, um, I'm not thinking straight here. Right, take that out, and that should give us enough to smelt up one more, so we now have some water to drink. Cold water cools you down, but the camel pack is more efficient than drinking water. So if we t put the camel pack, three bottles of water, and we put it on, we should start hydrating ourselves. Oh, that's nice. Fresh water. So, yeah. Um, well, we could also... What we need to do is get some crops going. But, unfortunately, we've run out of time for this episode. So, we're going to put down some... Well, we're going to get ourselves a bucket for the next episode. And we're going to have a look what the next quest is. Ooh, firing up. We've already made one of these. Um, we get iron, we can cantaloupe, or we can get cold water. Um, ooh... Cold water sounds nice. The fresh, crisp water. Cantaloupe seed. I already have rice seeds, so no, I'm going to take the fresh water. And next of all, oh, we got to kill mob. Wait, does that give us ammo? Oh, it gives an. Oh, we could have an anvil. Ooh, that looks like a copper sword blade. I'm definitely doing that quest. So yeah, um, plenty of stuff has just opened up. We got all this stuff to do, but that's next episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. 
if you're new to the channel and you can continue watching me stay well and survivor out oh got any comments questions drop them down in the comment section below i'll answer them if possible survivor out